Hi, everybody. Won't you pray with me? You know, this past weekend, we heard from Father Daniel a bit about the St. Pius X house project, the house that we're hoping to build in Ghana, a house that will be a residence for priests as they visit his village in Atase. One of the interesting things that struck me about that was how important it is to have a place where priests can minister, where the community can minister, even in the absence of a priest. I found myself pondering deeply what it meant to have a house, a home, a place to dwell. One of the things that struck me was the fact that in this day and age, we still have parts of our world where priests are nomads. They wander from place to place. Why? Serving God's people and raising up disciples. Isn't that what we're about? Raising up disciples and serving God's people? For prayer today, I'd like to share with you a couple of different things. First of all, I'd like to share with you how our faith formation kiddos are moving forward. Our school is having a collection to raise money for the, the house in Ghana. And so are our faith formation kiddos. Our kiddos want to fill this house to the brim and then some, so that they too can help build and provide for the disciples in Atase. One of the things that came to my mind in terms of prayer was a song that was written by Marty Hogan back in 1994 called All Are Welcome. I'd like to just share the first verse with you this week and let that be our prayer. Won't you pray with me? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end division. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Loving and gracious God, that prayer, that song is but a testament and testimony to your presence with us and for us. We pray that we may help build not only that house, but our house into a place of prayer where all are welcome. As we continue this Lenten journey, may our almsgiving, our sharing, be an outpouring of the love we know from you. May we truly be a people where all are welcome. May we know that in this place, love and faith may grow. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God be with you all this week. Have a great Lent.